So this is going to be the tutorial to uh, do the the word animals in uh, Illustrator. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on to Google and you're going to type in um, you know whatever animal that you want to um, create or use to do your word animal. So I'm actually going to leave it really open ended, and you guys can choose like what type of um, animals you want to do. Uh, I might just do a flamingo for this uh, example. So flamingo. So you know you want to use examples of uh, fl fl flamingos, and probably you want to find one that has like a really interesting shape or interesting um, pose or gesture um, with the animals. That's kind of why I chose the um, flamingo because they, you know they have like this, you know, like really interesting legs. This um, kind of like an S shape, S, S shape on the body. So, you know, I'm just going to go through these images and just try to, like, find one that's, like, the best. Like, this one doesn't really capture the legs that well. Uh, this one's kind of interesting, but it looks, it looks kind of fake, though, so I don't want to use that one either. So, you just want to, like, you know, go through this and just find one that looks natural, that looks very interesting, that you could possibly use. So, I'm just looking through it. I might just, uh... Oh, why don't I choose this one? I think this one's pretty good. Yeah, I like this pose. Or I'm gonna click on this to see any other ones I might like. So you just want to spend some time just look for um, a pose. I'll, I'll choose this one. So you know, just like how we did um, around the, the, to uh, save your photo onto the um, uh, from your computer, all you're gonna do is just click on your folder. So this is 1A, and I'm just going to click and drag my image in 1A. Now, some of your images may be a low-res image. I don't know if I'm going to find an example of it here. Okay, this one's going to end up being low-res. So if I drag this here, and it's uh, very pixelated like this. Now, the reason why it's going to look pixelated, because uh, I know right away it's going to be pixelated just because of the way it looked on here, is because um, the school blocks these uh, websites. So you know, if I try to view the image on there, I can't reach that website. So just be mindful of that. Some of these images, uh, they do get blocked, and you can't really use the high-res image. And if that's the case, you just click and drag in the trash bin, and you can throw it away. Uh, but in this case, though, you can actually use the low-res for this. It's, um, it's not that imperative. So I'm just going to click and drag this into Illustrator. And again, the reason why you can use a low-res image for this assignment is because uh, we're just using the image we're just using the image as a, um, a reference to do our um, drawing, uh, drawing using the, um, the typography words or, or the letters. <laughs> and there's two ways you can you're going to be able to use these references. You can either use it to um, you know, draw it out or you can also use it to uh, trace the image. Um, in most cases, it might be a little easier to use it to trace, but you know, I understand some of you guys you know, would rather just uh, visually just you know, draw what you see, which is fine. E either approach works out good. So I'm just waiting for this to load. Just waiting. Oh, okay, I think it loaded now. Or oh, I think it's loading my image. So all I did was just click and drag my image into the um, the Illustrator. Oh, let me just. That's not important. All right, so I'm I'm just gonna resize this window. So a couple of uh, quick commands. Uh, I'm going to hand you guys these uh, quick keys for Illustrator. So you always want to refer back to it. I'm just going to do Command minus, and that's going to zoom out on my image, and Command plus zooms in. So just be mindful of that. If it's hard to see your image, or if you want to look at details, you can zoom in. I'm just going to zoom it out. And just like with the, Im just like with any of the shapes and the letters that we worked before, if you click and drag the corner, you can resize your image. Uh, but preferably, when you resize it, you want to hold the Shift key and then click and drag the image and that will keep it the same ratio rather than you know stretching it and skewing it or having to guess like you know how big it is 
So just be mindful of that. And all I did to undo all that is just uh, Command uh, Z. That's not giving me your undo. So I'm gonna make this fairly small just so um, I can see how it looks. And I'm not really worried about the background, just more about the, um, the image. So it's okay if it goes a little bit off the screen. I'm actually just gonna put it in the corner there. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is uh, we gotta set up your uh, workspace. And it's just gonna be just like how we did with your um, your practice before. So um, it's just gonna be a little bit differently. Instead of um, typing out a, um, a word to manipulate, we're actually just gonna type out the whole alphabet. So I'm just gonna do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right, so yeah, I'm just using the letters again. And you can type it out again too, because I actually want to get the capitalized letters. But I'm actually going to highlight the letters, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, Command C to copy, and Command V to paste. So now I can make uh, copies of it. I, I want to have one copy of the um, the lowercase. You guys probably can't see it, so I'm going to have one copy of the. Um, I'm move this over. The lowercase. And then I want to have like another copy of the um, uppercase. So I'm just going to do Command V to paste, and now paste it again. Oh, you know what? I actually had to type this whole thing out because uh, I had to make it capitalized. E F G H I J I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Okay. All right. So. Uh, you know, I'm just having all the letters out just because, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to pull from these letters later. Uh, so, so um, But you can always add more words or letters later if you want to. Um, it's just like the same approach as we did your um, practice, uh, um, the semantic typography. All right, so once I've chosen my words, I'm going to go to my characters panel and pull this up to go to the Windows uh, type and characters. And again, this is where you control your fonts. So sometimes you can just click on this and then just kind of scroll up on the letters. In some cases, it may or may not work. It's a little easier to see the letters if you do it this way. And I'm gonna actually find, try to find um, a uh, a font that's more um, kind of like uh, you know with like a lot of curves in it, as opposed to having it be bold and oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, my size changed. But yeah, I'm going to try to find like a font that's more has more like uh, curves to it because you know it goes well with my flamingo shape. You know, as opposed to using like more boxier letters. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Oh, too big. Like you know, these are a little bit. Too, that's a little too big. <laughs> So, you know, this one's a little too boxy. I'm actually going to just scroll through it. So, again, you can just click on the, this part, scroll through it. Um, this one might work. You know, I actually like this S right here for the flamingo part. Uh, all right, we'll try this one. So, I'm going to use this font here. And, you know, don't worry about the size, just as long as it's big enough where you can read it. Oh, this is kind of like a cursive, though. All right, we'll, we'll try it out. You know, this one you want to be like really experimental with it. So, you know, it's just like what we did before with the semantic typography. Um, you want to um, select the word, um, go to objects, expand. So, you know, when we expanded it, we're going to change each word into a, um, a vector or a shape. So at that point, after I click OK, uh, you know, I can't edit the words like before. And then we're going to do object and ungroup. So when we ungroup it, that's going to allow us to click and drag these words away. All right, so you know, now we have these letters to kind of like play around with to make, my, make the flamingo now. And so I'm actually going to move the flamingo in the middle here. And there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you know, I feel like it's easier to you know, have the reference out and then just put these letters on top to kind of match the shapes. So for example, um, you know, I might want to use uh, this, this leg here. It kind of reminds me of like um, an L, like the lowercase L. Oh, yeah, that lowercase L ain't going to work. All right, we'll try the eye yeah here. So, you know, I'm just going to use this eye for part of the leg. And, 
you know, it's starting to curve out a little bit more, so I might, you know, want to use this shape here. Uh, you know, I might actually rotate this around. You know, you just have to play around with it, you know, see what works out. You know, I'm just using it to like kind of like trace over the animal, or you know, if you wanted, you could just do it this way too. Oh. I mean, it's actually easy to just trace it, but the other option too is if you want to just draw it to the um, the side. If you want to use this white space and just draw what you see, um, that's fine too. All right, but um, yeah, one other thing too. Um, that I'm going to teach you as well is um, the copy and paste. So, you know, some of these words, like, you know, I'm already used the I and the L here. You know, if I wanted another copy of the L, I would hit, um, click on the letter, um, have the, um, the uh, mo uh, direct selection tool selected, and I'll hit Command C to copy, Command V to paste. So, if you want to use these letters again, that's the best way of uh, doing this. So, you know, I think this. Uh, I think it's originally an L. You know, that's like a really interesting shape. So, you know, I'm just resizing it. And, you know, I'm just trying to like figure out how I want to uh, put this neck here. I think a C would work real well for that shape. So, you know, it's just like what we did on the, the last assignment. We're just resizing it, rotating it around. If you want, you can also flip it around too. See, the C backwards actually works a little bit better. So, like this little mingle that I chose is actually um, a harder one to do just because there's a lot of lines to it. But, you know, if, you want, if you're working ones that look like a bigger shape, it's a little bit easier. So, you know, now I got the body here. Uh, maybe, you know, if you wanted to, you can also use numbers too. So I think a, um, an 8 would be a pretty interesting body. So I'm just going to use 8 here. And yeah, I'm just using this as a single letter. So actually, oh, okay, that works out fine. And you can always just type out the letters and just do it individually too. So. so, you know, I don't know, maybe I want to use like the 8 for the body. Actually, it works out better roster. Right? So it is, it is good practical uh, object expand to rasterize your image. Cause now it's gonna be like easier to like rotate and manipulate. It was doing like some weird things before, but I mean that kind of gives you the idea of like what you want to do. You can see like the like flamingo shape is kind of like coming together. And if you want, you can go like a little bit more, um, you know, like add more things to kind of fill up that space. Uh, that's the basic idea of how you want to do it. So you're going to use this as like kind of like a reference, and then after you're done, you can just check it to see if it actually looks like that um, uh, flamingo. So this is almost getting like the shape that I want. And after you're done with it, you know, like when you're completely finished with it, you can, you know, like re, you can click on the whole thing, uh, object and group, and then you can, you know, resize it to make it bigger. And if you want to add like a little bit more detail, so um, I don't know, maybe I want to like put like a, you know, I might, I might actually want to type like flamingo in there somewhere. I think that would be kind of interesting. So F, and I get my L here. Oops. I'd have then group it again. So object and group. Only, only group it together at the very end. You don't want to do it right away. So I'm just doing Command C, copy, paste. You know, it'd be kind of interesting to have that word flamingo in there in some shape or form. So fla ming. I mean, you get the idea. I would try to fit these letters in because I think it'd be interesting to see like what the animal is within the animal, or what what the animal's name is within the um, the shape of the animal. All right. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for though.